Hello, you are welcome to solve this nice system of equation here. You are finding value of x and y, where x and y are real number. Then let's take the equation 1 and this is equation 2. And from here, let's represent you as root x and also b as root y. Then from here, when we square both sides, u square will now be equal to root x square, which will be x. Also, v square will be equal to root y square, which will be y. Then we can write equation 1 and equation 2 from here. Equation 1 then become x times root x, that's u square, then root x is u. Then we have plus also y times root y and uh, y is v square then times root y is v which is equal to 32 then from here this becomes u raised to power 3 from the law of indices then plus also v raised to power 3 and is equal to 32 so let's derive this as equation 3 and also equation 2 now becomes x times root y and x is u square so we have u square times root y is z then plus y times root x and y is z square then root x is u and is equals to 31 from what we have in equation 2 here as we come this from here and let this be equation 4 now let's multiply this equation 4 through by 3 so multiply this through by 3 so this give us 3 u square b then plus 3 v square u then equals to 3 times 31 that give us 93 from z then from this equation let's let it be equation 5 from here let's add equation 3 and equation 5 so that we have equation 3 plus equation 5 then this will give us from equation 3 we have on the left hand side that gives us u raised to power 3 plus v raised to power 3 then plus the left hand side of equation 5 we have 3 u square v plus 3 v square u then on the right hand side of equation 3 that gives us 32 plus the left hand side of equation 5 that gives us 93 and from there this become on this side we compare this with a plus b raised to power 3 and here this will give us a the expansion here gives us a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 then plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so when we compare this with this left hand side here we discover what we have here will simply be u plus v all raised to power 3 which is equals to the right hand side here 32 plus 23 there give us 125 then next let's take the key root on both sides so we have key root of u plus v or is to power 3 equals to key root of 125 then here keep cancel key root and we have u plus v equals to 5 on this side then from this equation we can make v the subject that 
need to take u to this side then we have v now to give us y minus u then from here let's substitute this back in equation 4 that is from equation 4 we have u squared times v plus v squared times u equals to 31 such that equation 4 will now become u squared times v and v now is 5 minus u then plus v squared that is 5 minus u squared then times u then equals to 31 and from here when we expand this this gives us 5 u square then minus u raised to power 3 on this side then plus expansion here gives us 25 then minus 2 times 5 times u that's 10 u then plus u square which is being multiplied by u here then equals to 31 then we multiply through this bracket and this becomes 5 u square minus u raised to power 3 then plus here becomes 25 u then minus 10 u square then plus u cube then equals to 31 then from here we have minus u cube plus u cube cancel out then also we have 5 u square minus 10 u square becomes minus 5 u square left then plus 25 u then we can take 31 here become minus 31 now equals to 0 then from here we can multiply through by minus 1 and this becomes 5 u square minus 25 u then plus 31 which is equal to 0 now we can solve for u here using the quadratic formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a and here a is equal to 5 b is equals to minus 25 and c is equals to 31 so when we substitute here here we have u now equals to minus minus 25 then plus or minus square root of minus 25 square then minus 4 times 5 times 31 then over 2 times 5 then from here when we simplify this becomes u now equals to 25 become plus 25 that plus or minus square root of minus u25 that gives us 625 then minus here we have 620 then we multiply this then divided by 2 times 5 here as 10 then this becomes u now equals to 25 plus or minus here when we subtract we have 5 that should 5 over 10 and when we separate this into two fractions we have u equals to 25 over 10 plus or minus 25 over 10 then when we reduce this 5 can go that will be u equals to 5 over 2 then plus or minus let's rewrite this and multiply by root 5 over 5 such that here we this will become 5 over 10 root 5 and which will be 5 here 1 5 here 2 that's 1 over 2 root 5 so that let's write this as 1 over 2 root 5 here then we have u now as having plus or minus this then we recall that we let v be equals to 
5 minus u then which implies that here v will now be equal to 5 minus into bracket u here which is 5 over 2 plus or minus 1 over 2 root 5 then from here if minus here open the bracket we are going to have v now to be equal to 5 minus 5 over 2 then this return to minus this return to plus which will be minus plus 1 over 2 root 5 and also when we bring this together this fraction here when we bring it together as one so this implies that v now equals to here we have SEM as 2, so that will be 10 here, then minus 5. Then minus 5 is still 5, that's still 5 over 2. So we have 5 over 2 now, minus plus 1 over 2 root 5. So we have this as the value of V. Now that we have U and V, easily we can get x and y now that we have the value of v and v now let's recall that x is equals to u square and then y is equals to v square so by the time we find x here x will now be equals to 5 over 2 plus or minus 1 over root 5 or square then when we solve this from here from the expansion when we have a plus b all square and this is same thing as a square plus 2ab plus b square so here this will become x equals to 5 over 2 all square then we have plus or minus that is 2 times 5 over 2 times 1 over 2 then root 5 then plus that will be plus then 1 over 2 root 5 then all square from here then what we have from here becomes here 25 over 4 that will be plus or minus here these two we cancel out and here we remain 5 over 2 root 5 then we have plus here this square we affect 1 that's 1 over we affect 2 here that's 4 then we affect root 5 that's 5 4 times 5 that will be 20 and from there we can bring this together and that means x is now equal to 25 over 4 plus 1 over 20 then plus or minus here we have 5 over 2 root 5 then from here which is 1 over 20 here SM is 20 and 4 in 20 that's 5 5 times 25 here we have 125 then plus here 1 then plus or minus here 5 over 2 root 5 then we can say times root 5 over root 5 then that gives us from here we have 126 over 20 then plus or minus here we have 5 root 5 over here we have 10 then what this one reduces to when we divide and we reduce to the lowest term here we have so we have x equals to 63 over 10 plus or minus here 5 1 5 2 that we have root 5 over 2 and this gives us the value of x in this problem which is two value we have x1 as 63 over 10 plus root 5 over 2 and x2 as 63 over 10 minus 6 and root 5 over 2 then equally when we square this side as well 
So we discover that what we have for our u and v is the same, just that the sign is reverse. So we have y will now be equal to 5 over 2 minus or plus 1 over 2 root 5 or squared. And also that means y will now be equal to similar with what we have for x, which will now be equal to y equals to 63 over 10 minus or plus root 5 over 2. So also we have this as the value of you know y. So which implies that we have two set of solutions here. That is when we have x1 comma y1. So this will give us 63 over 10 plus root 5 over 2 comma here we are going to have y1 as 63 over 10 then minus root 5 over 2 then the second set of solution as well which is x2 y2 will be equal to here yeah, x2 is 63 over 10 minus root 5 over 2 then comma y2 now we get we be sorry please that's 63 over 10 then plus root 5 over 2 so we discover that this value is just interchanged here yeah, that this x1 here is equals to you know y2 here and similarly we have you know y1 here is equals to x2 here so these are the so solutions to this given problem thank you subscribe to my channel and share this video see you in the next class Bye for now.